our tutorial Relative Strength Index Strategy Indicator. Strategy indicators consist of identifying trend following or mean reversion asset price patterns. Main indicators include single or multiple, lagging or leading technical indicators. This topic is part of Advanced Trading Analysis with our course. Feel free to take a look at course curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Relative Strength Index is a bounded oscillator that measures an asset price trend, strength or weakness. 14 days are commonly used for its calculation. Notice that these 14 days are commonly used, but they are not fixed and can be modified according to your needs. For full reference, I recommend that you read Vélez Wilder Jr., New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems, published in Commodities Magazine, now Futures Magazine, in 1978. Technical indicator is calculated through following steps. A. Average Gain and Loss Calculation Current period 14 days average gain calculated with positive close price differences is equal to and within the numerator we have first of all 13 multiplied by previous period's average gain plus current period's positive close price differences and that result divided by 14. For the initial 14 days average gain of positive close price differences, it is calculated as 1 divided by 14 multiplied by the sum from the 0 to the 14 minus 1 observation of previous periods positive close price differences up to current period. Average loss calculation is done with the same formulas as above, but with the absolute value of negative close price differences. Current period close price difference is equal to current period close price minus previous period's close price. B. Relative Strength Calculation Current period 14 days relative strength calculation of close prices is equal to Within the numerator, we have current period 14 days average gain of positive close price differences divided by current period's 14 days average loss of the absolute value of negative close price differences. C. Relative Strength Index Calculation Current period 14 days relative strength index calculation of close prices is equal to 100 minus and within parentheses we have 100 divided by 1 plus current period's 14 days relative strength of close prices calculated at previous step. Great. So let's go into our studio so that we can study relative strength index with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within our studio. In this tutorial, we'll be working within its corresponding file, our tutorial, relative strength index strategy indicator. The first step within the tutorial is to load its packages. In this tutorial, we'll be using QuantMod package and the loading is done by selecting library function together with the corresponding package name within it and then clicking run or control enter on the keyboard. 
Once the package has been loaded, the next step is we are going to create our data variables. For this, we are going to read the data. Therefore, we create the variable named SPY, which is equal to read.csv, and within it we have the data file RSI or Relative Strength Index Strategy Indicator Data.txt. So this is a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values stored within the working directory. Comma header equals to true. So we select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that creates the SPY object stored within the global environment as a data frame. So we're going to click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, and that opens the data object for us. As we can see here, we have at the first column dates, and then we have SPY open, high, low, close prices, SPY volume, and SPY adjusted close prices, which were adjusted for dividends and splits. SPY is the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the Standard Poor's 500 index. We can see data with a daily frequency from the beginning of 2016 all the way into the end of 2016. Therefore, as we can see right here, we have 252 observations. So going back into the code file, the next step is we are going to convert that data frame into an XTS. XTS stands for Extensible Time Series, which is done at the following row. So we are going to overwrite the SPY object and we'll do so as an XTS in which we're going to select from SPY, the previously created data frame, from columns 2 to 7, and we're going to order it with order by equals as date with capital D, SPY the first column. So we select that code line here, click run or control enter on the keyboard. And if we reopen the variable here, we see that now those dates became the index of the object. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with the calculation of the strategy indicator together with the visualization in its corresponding chart. So first, we are going to create this variable, which is named RSI for Relative Strength Index, and we'll be using RSI function, and the prices we'll be using for its calculation are closed prices, that's why we have CL for the SPY object, comma N equals to 14, that's the number of periods for which we're going to calculate the Relative Strength Index. As mentioned, this number of periods are the commonly used, but that number is not fixed, therefore it can be modified according to your needs. So we select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that created an XTS object here. So we are going to open it by clicking on the spreadsheet kind of icon. And there we have the calculation of the relative strength index. Notice here that the first observations are non-available, so we need to scroll down because we need certain number of observations before the calculation of the first value of this relative strength index found at this corresponding date. So going back into the code file here, we're going to visualize this corresponding technical indicator. We'll do so with bar chart function, capital C, and here we're going to include SPY object, comma theme equals chart theme colored in white so that we have a white background and then we're going to add the relative strength index with its corresponding 14 periods. So we select these two code lines here, click run or control enter on the keyboard which again is equivalent and right here we have the chart. So we're going to proceed and zoom into it and as mentioned at the top we have our corresponding prices within this bar chart for SPY. On the vertical axis, we have their values. Notice that these are the corresponding bars with those open, high, low, and close prices. Within each of these bars, we have at the top, that's the high, the bottom, that's the low, and then we have open and close prices depending on the corresponding values. When the bars are colored in green, that's when 
we had a close price which was above the open one when they're in orange that's when we have a close price which was below the open one then we have volume and at the bottom we have the relative strength index calculation as a bounded type of oscillator its calculation is found right here with this blue color time series excellent so let's go ahead and close this chart here and now that we've finished studying the calculation and visualization of this relative strength index strategy indicator let's go back into the slides And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.